passions and pastimes and today's maker monday project is taking a look at how to touch up this um, pendant you'll notice that some of the uh, copper is showing through here that these um beads are not in the best shape and that some of the beads here at the neck are losing its uh, losing their paint as well. So um, I've pulled out my different types of paint that I have available. I have um, Pabio Porcelain 150, which can be, uh, which is a baked on finish. You can use it on metal and glass. Um, I think it should be fine to use it on the um, ends of these beads because they're metal pieces and there's glass beads so I don't have to worry about anything melting but I'm not sure if the color is going to be right with this silver um, I have uh, testers enamel paint in silver um, which is great for metal again it may not be exactly the right color but we're going to do some testing in advance and then I have um, liquid chrome um, and liquid chrome has some pretty specific uses. It has a gorgeous surface color, but it needs um, a coating. And actually all of these, once I've decided, um, excuse me, all of these will need a coating anyway uh, for jewelry for the, the long-term wearability. So um, once I've decided on which silver is going to work the best, I'm going to let it, uh, I'm going to paint it, let it dry, and then I'm going to coat it with uh, hard UV resin. And so this is a UV ultraviolet cured resin. Uh, it's not like those two part resins that you mix. This is just a, a one part coat on and then cure uh, under ultraviolet light. This works, this cures really well under those gel nail lamps. Um, you need one that goes on for more than 30 seconds. Um, and you need a, I think it's a 405, um, oh, UV setting. Um, I can't remember the, the, the 390 UV lights aren't quite, um, strong enough, but also, uh, I usually just put it in my window and let the sunlight cure it. Um, and you can do this any time of the year, winter, summer, um, and I find that works the fastest, but I do have a small uh, UV lamp I use if uh, I don't have any sun. So uh, this is um, a product I ordered from, I think through eBay. Um, so you, you don't want to pl uh, play around with the two-part resins because they take so long to cure, or it can take so long to cure that you get dust and stuff in them. And you want a very, very, very thin coating. Um, lots of good uses for UV resin. I've got some of these micro brushes and a Q-tip. So I'm going to use this um, Missing Rhinestones um, cup chain to experiment with um, the silver colors to see which is going to look the best. Uh, this always looks the best right at the beginning. This is the uh, liquid chrome. Makes a gorgeous color. We'll let that dry. You can see if I bring it up to the camera what a nice uh, shiny color that is. Then I've got the, the Pabio porcelain. I'm just gonna um, I'm not gonna go through the whole mixing, but I'm gonna. Put it in the middle here, and we got a, like a four by four section. You can see that. Is it gonna focus? No, it's not gonna focus. Let me put a little bit more on. The Pavio porcelain you can do in layers if you need to. All right, so let's put it up. So there's the Pavio porcelain. It's a little. I would need another, uh, I think, another layer to make it cover as well as the uh, liquid chrome did. So let that dry, and while that's drying, open up the tester silver, and we'll use the other side of the Q-tip. 
put some here. I think that looks pretty good actually. Okay. So I like to put the lids back on so I don't spill things accidentally. So of the three, so there's the testers. There's the Pavio porcelain and there's the liquid chrome. Now here's my original pendant. So I'm going to try, since I have a bit on the, the Q-tip, I'm going to put this off here. Let's try just a quick brush on. Pretty sure this is the testers. It's going on very nicely. Might not have enough to cover everything, but that makes uh, so for right here at the end. A little bit I didn't get. Okay, so there's the testers. And let's try this one. I don't like this at all. It's kind of, I don't know, whitish. Okay, so let's uh, get my scrub cloth. I'm going to take that off. Okay, let's try the liquid chrome. So I'm pretty sure the Pavio porcelain's not going to do this time. There are sometimes when there's a, sometimes that the Pavio porcelain looks amazing. these around. Sometimes the liquid chrome doesn't um, dry with the amount of shine that you would expect it to and I found from experience I think it has to do with the interaction with the other coatings that are already on the beads. But this is looking very good. little trouble getting let's see if we can turn this around and get all of that black on there okay so needs a little more oh actually no that's the that's the reflection I don't think that's Let's do this, see what happens. Some people use the um, silver leafing pens. They're not really silver, but um, I find that this works better. And then here's what it, the uh, other paint looks like. I'm gonna try the liquid chrome here on these just these two little spots or, and we'll let it dry and we'll see what it looks like there is a difference in color but the one on the left looks really good actually so we'll let that stuff dry Here once again, there's the liquid chrome, nice and dry. There's the Pabio porcelain. Would need some more coats and it's kind of grainy looking. And then there's the uh, the tester silver. So it looks not, it's not as grainy as the Pabio porcelain, but a little grainier than the liquid chrome. So that's the three of them tested. 
here's this now you can see that there's a little bit of black that's now um, not visible is that pink I'm still seeing through there oh no I think I I think there's a spot I missed so let's try once more yeah And then I'm going to take, let's see if we can zoom in on this, I'm going to take the scraper and scrape in there because there was a nice black line in there originally. I like the way that looks and I think that's going to be the repair. There's a little bit of pink copper showing through there that I still missed. I think I got it all. Up at the top there, it's just the reflection of the beads that we're seeing. I like the way that's fixed to that. In terms of the end beads, um, I think I'm going to go with the liquid chrome and then do a coating on them. So, here's my UV resin. Again, I'll actually. I don't use the squeeze bottle. I'm just going to use the largest of my micro brushes. These are the kind of things that you um, you order. Um, they're used for putting um, glue on eyelashes. And I'm only coating where I've put the liquid chrome. That's all it needs. Um, and that'll dry. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, these ends again. And I will uh, bring it back. Once it's all dry and coated and let you see uh, what it looks like. Hello. So here we are with the finished uh, pink bead and heart necklace. And this is the heart where we used the uh, liquid chrome to fill in the spots that had uh, worn away and were uh, mostly copper looking. And then we sealed it with uh, UV resin, a hard resin that uh, cures under UV light or in, you know, out in sunlight. And I don't know if we can see it if we in the camera. You can sort of, okay, so you can tell that we did some up, you know, some painting here and some painting here and sealing and then filled in the black lines that we're missing. Um, we painted these ends here with a different paint. We used, um, oh, that model paint that in the silver, oh gosh, how come I can't remember it, what it's called, and then sealed them, and they went a little cloudy, but that's okay. And then these ends down here, we just touched up with the mirror paint. You can, and these wooden beads, We I shouldn't have done it this way, but these were wooden. I put the uh, uh, mirror paint on them and then I sealed them with UV resin and it kind of went lumpy. But it's not something to go easy to go back from. I'd have to kind of take the thing apart. So I think this is the best I can do. Um, uh, here's the pendant that I took off of the necklace. It just had uh, 
curled around like that. I took uh, all the remaining cabochons out. They were glass, but there was there were about three or four missing. Um, and some of this was rusty. So this has been repainted. It hasn't been sealed yet, but um, it is possible then to reseal this and use it on a necklace. But I thought that um, the heart with the pink was much nicer than this, which was missing the center and then had red and green uh, cabochons on it. So thanks very much for watching and I hope you like how I did this repair. Mm -hmm.